Weekend environments. A sanctuary of sound. Imagine crossing a footbridge that spans a wide ravine. It's not a reassuring feeling. You hold tightly to the rope on either side. As you raise your left foot, the right foot descends. Place your left foot forward and down. The right foot senses pressure, pushing upward. As you walk, the entire bridge undulates. That energy originates from you. As the energy of movement attenuates through the planks and ropes, residual energy dissipates into the air. You comfort yourself with your cerebral peregrinations, but you can't escape the logical consequences staring up at you from the chasm below. Because the bridge vibrates like a xylophone, and that ultimate insulator air provides an almost infinite well for vibratory energy, you can assure yourself of safe passage. Now, imagine you are once again on that footbridge, but instead of your two feet, you balance precariously on a pogo stick at the epicenter of the bridge. At this point, the lowest ebb of the bridge, you balance with the poise of the most expert acrobat, your movements invisible to all but the most discerning. You and your pogo stick are now practically floating in space. As the emission of energy of movement, that is, vibration, dissipates along the length of the footbridge. If the earth emits a tremor, you are also practically isolated, as a significant magnitude of the Earth's vibration also will be dissipated by the footbridge before that unwelcome force reaches you. If it does, your poise and grace will deliver you back to your center of gravity, assuming that the quake doesn't collapse the bridge and cough you down into the depths below. Now, let's apply the analogy to three support devices arranged along the same horizontal plane, supporting a loudspeaker or a vinyl record turntable. Whether a tremor originates from the audio component, the room, or from planet Earth itself, the decoupled nature of the supports insulate the audio component from foreign disturbance while providing a path of least resistance back to its original place of rest. Unlike other support devices that are intended to absorb energy and mitigate the coupled effects of those components that suffer from an overabundance of mass, these support devices judiciously dismiss aberrant vibration, both from the audio component itself and from the outside world, dissipating it silently into the air. Its unique architecture recommends it to perform excellently in virtually any listening environment, accommodating audio components both large and small, where subtlety is at a premium. The isolation vibration component module is a mouthful and sounds like a misnomer. After all, if you're isolated, how can you be vibrating, right? In fact, the vibratory event itself is isolated, rather than the component. Since the audio component is, as a practical matter, decoupled, undesirable vibration dissipates into airy oblivion. The Isolation Vibration Component Module, or IVCM, called for simplicity's sake, the Velvet Mini and Velvet Reference, delivers steadfast performance 
for any sound system in need of nuanced improvement. In fact, Luke Zitrikopf, designer of the Illuminous Audio Gravitas loudspeaker system, devised the Velvet Mini and Velvet Reference component feet from lessons learned in designing his monitor and active subwoofer system. As the monitor set hangs in suspension, so too the subwoofers stand on a footbridge of isolation, empowering a sound system to deliver its best performance into the imagination, not into the floor. Reach out to us at IlluminousAudio.com to learn more. Weekend Environments A Sanctuary of Sound